Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another situation where there's a lot of confusion. Here we have an object either on the ground or already up in the air. Notice that the object has a weight equal to mg. This object, no different, has a weight equal to mg. And let's suppose that there's a force, an outside force, like somebody pushing upward with a force equal to the weight. In this case, it's up in the air and somebody's pushing or a machine is pushing the weight upward equal to mg. The question is, will the object be moving upward at a constant speed or will the object be motionless? Will the block move upward at a constant velocity? That's the real question. And the answer is, it depends. You say, well, wait a minute, it depends. The laws of physics should not change, and the answer is that's correct, they will not change. But if the situation is such that the object is sitting on the ground, not moving, and you apply a force equal to the weight, the answer is the object will not move. And if the object is up in the air and it's not moving and you push against the object with a force equal to its weight, the object will simply stay there motionless. But if the object is already moving for some reason, for example, let's say that for a split second we apply a force slightly greater than the weight, then at that point there will be a net force and if there's a net force there will be an acceleration and for a split second the block will begin to accelerate upward. If we then lower the force, until the force is now equal to the weight of the object, then the block will continue to move upward at whatever the velocity was that it had after that small acceleration. Same in this case, if there's already a small amount of velocity, in other words, if the block is already moving upward at some small velocity v, then applying a force equal to the weight will simply continue, the, the object will simply continue moving upward at that particular velocity. So the requirement is if v initial is not equal to zero. In other words, if the block is already moving at some velocity, then if the push is exactly equal in magnitude than the weight of the object, the block will simply continue moving at that velocity. Same here, if we give it an initial shove to get the block moving, and then the force of the push is equal to the weight, then the block will continue to move at that velocity. And that's where the confusion often comes in. When some, sometimes you'll read a physics problem in the book and it says the force is applied equal to the weight and the block is moving upward at a constant velocity and everybody says, well, how can it move upward at a constant velocity if these two forces are equal to, to one another? If they're equal to one another, all that means is that the acceleration is equal to zero. In other words, if the force of the push in magnitude is equal to the weight of the object, then all we can say is that the acceleration is equal to zero, but if it already has an initial velocity, that velocity will simply continue if those two forces are equal. Hopefully, that clears it up for you.